Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia Rebecca Parchman and this is HR Talks with Alicia where we talk all things HR. Join me on this journey to success as a HR intern to one day becoming a full-time HR professional. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the HR Talks with Alicia community. To everybody who's already subscribed, I know. I said I'm going to be here every single week for you guys. But you know how life can get sometimes. It can get a little bit hectic. And I felt like I needed to just spend some time away from the camera and just work on myself a little bit because I just didn't feel the energy to come on the camera and speak. I didn't feel like the topic I'm going to speak about today would have been justified if I talked about it two weeks ago. I want you to get the most information from me. That's what I'm here for, not just to give a weak hearted info. So please forgive me. I'm back now and hopefully you will be really engaged with the content I'm about to give today. So before we get started, I just wanted to shout out my friend Adela who has launched her website and her website is based on photography. She has an array of beautiful pictures that she takes of couples, models, children, families and so much more. And she is available on request. You can, If you are looking for somebody to take some nice professional photos of yourself, your family members or whatnot, please contact Adela. I'm showing the images on the screen as I speak right now. And as you can see, she is talented. So I just want to shout her out. So I just want to shout out Sir Joya. Um, she wanted to know how the CIPD can help her while she's studying her masters and also after she's done her qualification. And I know a lot of people are probably wondering the same thing. What's the CIPD? How can I utilize it? And how can I make the most of it while studying HR and in my HR career? So hopefully this video is going to show you where you can go on the CIPD website to access information that is really gonna help you in your studies. Also, what the student CIPD membership is and some of the perks of joining the membership and also what you can do afterwards with the CIPD, how it's going to make you maybe stand out from other people who are trying to get into the HR profession and get a job that you are trying to go for and how you can network, understand career choices and gain numerous amounts of knowledge to help you succeed. So, what is the CIPD, I hear you ask? I know some people clicking on this video might not know what the CIPD is. So, the CIPD is the Chartered Institute of Personnel and Development, and they administer HR qualifications to human resource professionals, students, and those who want to gain a CIPD qualification. This is done in three different levels. So you can either get the level three, level five, or level seven depending on what stage you're at in your career or journey as a uh, HR professional or somebody who wants to go into HR. So the CIPD qualification is a recognised accreditation for HR professionals across the UK in the public and private sectors. And I feel like it's a really good qualification to have if you're trying to get into that industry because HR professionals across the UK recognise this qualification. So in today's video, I want to take you through the CIPD website. I thought let's do something a little different because you're always seeing my face. That's all you see. So let's be practical so you can navigate your way around the CIPD web website to see how it will benefit you once you finish this video. So I've been a student member since I started my human resource management degree. And becoming a student member allowed me to gain access to a number of different resources. So I just kind of want to show you those resources. So here you've got member benefits to support you. And this is basically what you get access to once you sign up to the, C the CIPD membership. So within the student hub, you can actually find resources that can help you while studying for your CIPD qualification. So here you can see how the CIPD can support you through your studies so it can help you with your studying and as CIPD member only study guides give tips for studying writing essays or business reports and taking exams so this is actually something that's quite useful that you can use if you are a CIPD member and look at all these guides like I know that when you're doing your master's degree or your studying qualification you may not know how you can study effectively how you can write 
academically, maybe you want to know how to write a critical review or a persuasive business report. These guides are from the CIPD and obviously you are studying towards a qualification for them so it's good that they're offering to um, show you how to do things within your qualification. So let's just look at this one, how to write a critical review. So you've got literally a step-by-step -step guide, look at all the information telling you how to do that. The critical review process, exactly what you should be doing um, before reading the article that you're going to be assessing. How to assess the article how to evaluate an argument these are things that you will need to know when you are writing your essays and you are um, doing exams so I think that it's something to maybe invest in because obviously they are the CIPD they're telling you what they want from you so I think that another amazing thing about being a CIPD member and utilizing CIPD website is that there are a array of knowledge and information on the different topics within HR so as you can see on the screen right now we've got and I like the way that it's really colorful and engaging because it's kind of like you really want to click on it just to find out more so let's click on employee voice um, so let's say you wanted to know more about the employee voice and a great example actually is that one of the modules in the master's degree that I did was based on um, employee relations and employee voice and understanding how to allow employees to have more of a voice was the topic of the question that I had in my essay. So I actually did look at the CIPD website to find out more information about employee voice so that I could utilize the information to then put within my essay. So if we access the resources, here we've got the future of the employee voice. Oh. So I'm actually logged into my account now. I think some of the information is restricted if you do not have a membership. So, um, so as you can see here, there's a lot of information on the employee voice from a CIPD viewpoint. Uh, you can understand what the CIPD think about employee voice and the resources and reports that they have highlighted on alternative forms of um, workplace voice and this can help you because in your assignments you may need to talk about alternative forms let's just look a little bit deeper into this one so we've got articles here we've got reports um surveys a lot of different um data and research that can definitely help you in your assignments a hundred percent Right, let's just go back to the knowledge shop. I'm just going to click on another one quickly because I don't want to, sorry, spend too much time. Um, so let's go on wellbeing, for example. Now you can access a lot of different resources that the CIPD have on wellbeing. Um, as you can see, there's fact sheets, guides, reports, podcasts, their viewpoint on it. This can help you to really understand in a holistic way the viewpoints on well-being and employee health and well-being uh low pay and financial well-being supporting the mental health at the work commitment all these resources can help you to understand not only whilst in your masters and writing essays and exams on these things but also allowing you to look into what you like specifically about hr what topic is of interest to you why what do you want to find out more about the cipd can offer that for you you can also if you're in the workplace so this is moving away from studies you might be doing an initiative on well-being in the workplace and you might need to look at a guide the cipd is right here for you you can download the guide and you can read more on these things um, to give you more perspective on what you should be doing um, in the workplace. So it's not just for students. This can help you beyond your degrees, beyond your qualifications. So alongside the Knowledge Hub, you've actually got news, views, policies that you can look at. So for example, we've got the CIPD viewpoint. Um, and I think this is just a collective on what the CIPD think about different parts of industry. Um, various 
areas of HR that the CIPD are passionate and strong about. You can see every single area here. Yeah, basically, they've got a, an opinion on that. So, for example, let's go on to job quality. For example, you can see exactly what the CIPD think of um, this point of view. Um, and their opinions on the matter at current. So, you've got up to date information here. Um, or the, the most up-to-date information there's links to other um, sites like gov.uk where you can actually look and download documents that might be something that's essential that you need to use for an essay this is all great stuff great stuff that the CRPD are um, putting out there we've also got the CIPD profession map. Um, so the CIPD profession map. Uh, I have actually made a video on this and like the skills that you kind of need. Um, I think I I focused on the core behaviours of a HR professional, but as you can see, core knowledge, specialist knowledge, these are all things that you need to be an amazing people professional. Um, so you can actually look into more depth about what those core behaviours are that you need to be um, adopting to be the best version of yourself in the role that you're in. Um, so I think this is quite cool actually, shows you exactly what you need. So change, digital working, analytics and creative value, business acumen, um, culture and behaviour, people practice basically showing you exactly what you need the core knowledge you need to be a HR professional the core behaviors you need you know it's just it's showing you exactly what you need and I think this is also valuable if you're trying to find a job you want to know exactly what values you need to be adopting you've got it right here it shows you like look how amazing this is and then you've also got specialist knowledge so if you're you know specializing in a certain area what do you need to know about these specific areas and then you've got more information on that, that you can go to so for example with diversity and inclusion standards it shows you at each level what you should be i think this is amazing and i don't think a lot of people actually know that this is something that you can look deeply into on this website um so you can find out exactly okay if I'm at foundation level, what do I need to know to be at foundation level? I think it's really good too for self-development in your role. So you even got here, what do you need to think about um, for diversity inclusion, for example? It gives you those focus points and then you've got articles that you can now read that's talk more on this and this is all the perks of being a member of the CIPD community so one of the last things that I'm going to show you there's so much more that I want to show you on here but I can't really go through all of it because you're probably getting bored <laughs> um, is the CIPD community this is the last thing I want to show you so if you are a student member or associate member or whatnot you have access to the CIPD community on this community there are uh, forums, blogs, wikis and help and guidance so if you've got a question maybe want to ask somebody else in the CIPD community about something then you can come to the um, CIPD community page and have a look through the forum so yeah basically you can browse one of these groups I think that for some of them you're not able to enter so for example this has got like a little, little badge on it so I don't think I'm going to access that so if I click on it let's have a look it says yeah access denied because I'm only a student member so I'm not sure if I can get access to that but the ones that don't have that on you can have a look in these things and see if your questions um, can be answered depending on the topic there are also blogs so you can have a look at people who have blogged about specific topics within HR. So I really hope that this part of the um, video has been really helpful and now I'm going to go into why I find the CIPD 
um, helpful. The other benefits that you get when you sign up, I'm going to show you a few things in person. And yeah, hopefully this is helping you out. If you've got any questions, please comment down below. So since being a student member with the CIPD, there are also other perks that I just wanted to discuss um, that I have picked up. So one of the perks that I wanted to discuss is every single month, you get sent one of these so this is the people management magazine and it has an array of information about different topics that are happening at the time within hr so one of the um people management topics was on the front page 2021 it's got to be better right so obviously hr have been a very important part i would say of um, trying to better the workplace in the times of a pandemic. There's been lots of changes that have had to happen, especially on the end of HR, um, with managing, changing from working in office to virtual working, how we're doing our onboarding processes, how are we allowing and understanding how people are becoming more engaged whilst at home. If they're not engaged, what can we do to, to stop that? You know, there's a lot of um i think great articles within these magazines that you can read through and understand a lot more about what hr does the specifics about different topics so yeah for example here's like oops, i don't know if you can see that but here's one of the articles that were in the people magazine um bringing fun back to the working day so there's kind of some um ideas here of what you could do to help employees feel more engaged with their colleagues whilst they're virtual because obviously everything is so different you know so this is just one of the things in there and i mean if you are in a hr position at the moment entry level even you can read through this if your team wants some ideas on how they can keep the employees engaged then here is some ideas in the people management magazine i think it's a great tool for everyone really to get ideas from and let me just show you i've got like loads here because they come like every single um month i like this one the best i don't know why i just really like the cover but yeah so if you get a cipd membership as a student member you are going to get these in the post every month you also can get signed up automatically to the cipd newsletter so they actually send me emails like every once in a while with different articles things that are happening in employment law um which i found very useful because when i was actually doing my employment law assignments and i needed to kind of have cases to back up i was saying things i would read through like the cipd newsletters and emails that would come into my inbox as well as the people management magazine and it would help me to like put cases together understand um why like what to do in a certain situation if a specific case was to come up how would you tackle it so i think it is really really beneficial you also as a cipd student member get invited to conferences at the moment all the conferences are quite virtual because obviously the pandemic you can't go anywhere but um you there's a lot of student conferences where you can actually meet up with other people across the country um, or from people from your areas. So for example, I'm from Birmingham, so in the Midlands, they've got conferences for the Midlands, newsletters around what's going on in the Midlands, and you can connect with people that way as well. And also on LinkedIn, there is a CIPD uh, member uh group as well that you can join so i'll show you that and i would recommend you join that if you do join the cipd and in there people and professionals from across the, the country are putting in questions about how to deal with the situation at work or you've got students putting um can anyone help me with my dissertation question to fill in questionnaires you can make it what you want to make it so i really think that the cipd is a very 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 useful tool to use it's good to use the website it's good to read the articles that they send you also it's good to read one of the people man management um magazines every month 
and think about how you can utilize the CIPD to make more connections. And remember, it is professional in standing. So you will stand out if you have a CIPD qualification. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful in some way to make you understand a little bit more about what you can get out of the CIPD website and the CIPD in general. If you would like to know any other information about the CIPD and what it can do for you, please comment down below and let me know. If you need me to explain something a little bit more, I can do that. I'm open to anything, to be honest, because I just want this channel to grow. I want more people who are starting out in HR to understand that you know, it is a journey and you can get there. You can be up there. You can be changing the game. You can be bringing your creativity into the sector and making it even better. And yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm still on a journey and yeah, I'm not perfect. As you know, I haven't posted for a couple of weeks, but I'm back and I'm better. So please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.